Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus North Node or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe and subscribe. And if the reading will resonate today, maybe next time. I swear I just saw a hawk. So look at that. Look at that, you guys. A hawk. Okay. The spiritual meaning of a hawk. I can't remember it off the top of my dome. But yeah, important messages for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. You got the Five of Wands. It looks like it's in reverse, though. Ten of Wands is in reverse. The Devil. And the Queen of Coins. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. So it looks like things are going pretty steady for you. Um, it's almost like you may not really be dealing with a lot right now, it looks like. Like it doesn't look like you, you have a lot of issues going on. You don't seem problematic. Um, you may not even really be known by a lot of people. Like a lot of people don't really see you as somebody here who they really can't get along with. But I do feel like the devil is still in your reading, which I just feel like a lot of you guys, it could just be somebody looking at you as an opportunity. Like they feel like you could be somebody who is easily trained for a really big position. So I don't know if somebody is looking at you to give you a raise. Somebody sees you as somebody here who doesn't cause really too many problems. Um, they feel like you're not really a hard person to work with. Um, they feel like you're not really the type of person who makes a lot of mistakes is what I'm getting as well. Like you could be somebody, especially if this is revolving around your livelihood or your your work. Now, the Queen of Coins is here, which makes me feel like this could definitely be based around like your community. Your family. Because the bottom of the cup, bottom of the cards is the two of cups, which makes you feel like somebody wants to work with you. Um, they want to come into a partnership with you. And I feel like with the devil, it's like somebody really feels like, I don't know. Yeah, the ten of cups. Like They feel like you would be somebody who they could train up for a really powerful position. Like, they feel like you will be here for a long time. Because you know what's crazy? I just noticed it. You got 10. You got the 5 of Wands, the 10 of Wands, and you got the Devil. 5 plus 10 is 15, and the Devil is the 15. There is confirmation right there. Um, The Devil, uh, the 10 plus 5 is 15. The Devil is 15. The Queen of Coins. So, 30. So this could be, you could be 30 years old or somebody, this is revolving around 30 years. I don't know if this is a Saturn return. You could have Capricorn in your Saturn. Something about a Saturn return. Something is returning to you. 
when you turn 30 or I don't know if you just turned 30 or 30 is approaching um, or you're after 30, you're about to receive a Saturn return here. What is this? Yeah, we got the Ace of Swords here. What's this? The Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to like figure out how something is happening, but I feel like you're about to receive a Saturn return or I don't know if you got Capricorn or you got an Earth energy in your Saturn. But I definitely feel like there's something here that's going to almost seem like like it's voodoo because you're going to start receiving miracles. But I feel like it's going to feel demonic. Like people are going to be like, whoa, what the hell is happening? I must be as well you're glowing. People are kind of like seeing somebody here, you're, you're angelic. I don't know why I'm getting this angelic energy about your reading. We're like you're angelic, but people lack clarity or people don't have understanding of how something is happening in your life. So I feel like with the five of wands, you're not working hard or you're not doing too much. It's just working for you. They think it's the devil. I'm getting you're getting a return here. People could think you're doing witchcraft or something. What's this? Yeah, the shaman. <laughs> they think like you're doing witchcraft or you're just a powerful shaman. Maybe you just created this for yourself or it's it's a return, like I said. So somebody, you're about to start getting a lot of like opportunities, really big ones, like like you're, it's gonna be hard for you to like choose because I feel like you're gonna have a lot of opportunities. Page of Cups, Page of Wands in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Magician in reverse, and the Page of Cups. I don't know who this is, but I feel like they're the ones who's trying to sacrifice shit and stuff. I feel like somebody, I don't know if this is somebody from your past, or maybe you guys used to do this in the past. Maybe you used to do spell work in the past. Um, and this could be definitely coming in for you. But I feel like with this lovers here in reverse, this could definitely be somebody here who tried to attach themselves to you in the past. But the death card is here. That ended or it cursed this person. So somebody's doing witchcraft. Okay. It's not working. Nine of swords in reverse. I'm also getting as well like it's backfiring. Somebody could be dealing with psychosis or somebody's having a mental illness. Yeah, we have the three of swords here. This is definitely somebody from your past or, or an ex or an ex-friend. Somebody from your past. They're doing witchcraft and voodoo and all that shit. And they're like making sacrifices under the moon and all types of stuff. And somebody's doing the most. Look at them on their knees with the Page of Cups, trying to sacrifice them. They could be putting stuff on the altar, doing all types of stuff. Um, this person really wants something to happen for them, but it's causing psychosis or something like that. Like they're they're dealing with like a mental illness or something. What is this? Yeah, I feel like with this um, Eight of Coins, I don't know if they were trying to send something your way. Yeah, they could have been trying to do chaos magic or cause you to, like, lose your mind or something like that. Like, someone was trying to drive you crazy. Yeah, Three of Swords definitely could be a Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, or just somebody with these type of um, energy where they're just disconnected from their, um, they're disconnected from their, their ability to feel. So, I feel like somebody doesn't, somebody doesn't feel or they're numb. So they do things because they feel nothing, but I'm getting, it ends up backfiring and they end up like being hurt and crying. I feel like somebody does things out of pain. They do, they do, they do things when they're crying. They do things when they're in pain. They do things when they're hurting. And I feel like because of that, like they send chaos magic or they send things to you to cause chaos in your home and your livelihood and your life. And they're trying to make all of these sacrifices to, well, why are they doing this? Oh, this is for a partner. Okay. So somebody, your ex or somebody, this could be somebody totally new. I don't know because the Queen of Cups showed itself and now the Queen of Cups is here. 
they're doing this for a partner. So I don't know if you know this person, but somebody's partner or somebody's ex is doing witchcraft on you. Yeah, this could literally be somebody you walk or your or their ex walked away from them and is looking for a, a higher level commitment. Yeah, I'm getting somebody is numb. They they partner left them, their spouse left them. They're single now. So they've been committed to doing voodoo on you. And they're watching things happen. And it's kind of like they're obsessing over it. I don't know if this person watches you online, but they obsess over your beauty as well. This person could also be much smaller than you. They just don't get. Yeah, somebody is very um, idealistic. Like, they idolize a lot. And I feel like they idolize somebody, and that person could have idolized people in the past, but they're looking at you, and you're like, they're, they're like, you're nothing like what my ex used to talk about or something like that. Maybe their ex had a type or something. Excuse me, but they look at you, and they're like, my ex likes you, and you're not my ex's type. I'm giving you different. The five of swords is here in reverse. And the five of coins. I don't know. Somebody here may be trying to reach out to you or trying to get on your good side or trying to get close to you. Yeah, they're looking you up and stuff. They're definitely looking you up. Yeah, it's this queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, judgment is here. Yeah, somebody's definitely dealing with some sort of judgment here. Yeah, something is definitely from going. Yeah, this person's about to watch you get blessed. Because I'm getting somebody here has been doing all types of shit behind the sun. You may not even know. Do you know this person? Let me see, Holy Spirit. Who is this? The Knight of Cups. Oh, it could be a friend. Or somebody you, you, you think likes you or something like that. Somebody you think is cool with you or somebody you think supports you. They was doing witchcraft or something on you. Could be a friend. What's this? Yeah, Queen of Wands. This could be somebody whose makeup you do. You do their hair, or they've done your makeup before. They've done your hair before. Um, you could have shopped at their. They could have a boutique, or you could you could work with this person, or you sold some clothes, or they wore your clothes before, or. They offered you an outfit. They offered to do your makeup. They offered to do your hair. You're going to know who this is. If this resonates, this person is into the beauty industry or they care a lot about their looks. You're going to be like, some of y'all, you might have never thought it was this person doing witchcraft on you. Yeah, page of coins. You know, I'm getting, they could have like a starter business or you were one of their first clients or somebody is just now learning how to do this. I'm asking as well, that's how they do sorcery. Getting somebody uses their products on people. So somebody could have addictives in their product or somebody was trying to like put stuff in your hair, put stuff in your face. Yeah. The Empress. Somebody was trying to dress you up or get you in some nice clothing or something or buy you, sell you a product revolving around beauty. I don't know who this is, y'all. I don't know if you have a friend or a colleague or somebody who, who's into the makeup beauty industry. Yeah, some of y'all with the Six of Swords in reverse, like you didn't pay it no mind or what's the Six of Swords? Uh, yeah, five of coins. I'm asking as well. They got a reading that warned them that if they do this, they will be out in the cold. They will lose their business, lose all their money, and they still did it. Yeah, now they want forgiveness because they're stuck. Yeah, they regret that shit. Yeah, I feel like somebody here who had a business, their business is 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 going out of. Um, they're losing clientele because they was doing witchcraft. On people in their business or yeah or they did it on you
So now their business is in, in poverty or it's in shambles. And I'm getting you're walking away free or their partner is leaving you. What's this? Yeah, Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah. What's this? What's the Seven of Wands? The High Priestess in reverse. So they thought you wasn't going to be protected from something. What is this? Six of coins. The seven of swords in reverse. So their plan was to have you pay for something or pay something back. Nine of coins, the king of coins. Yeah, I feel like they they thought you were going to help them or give them something in their time of need or something about this person being down and out. We got the knight of wands. They could have traveled. They might want to come see you or come to your home. What is this? The eight of swords. getting somebody staring at your pictures and saying like come to me or somebody's like call me somebody's trying to get you to like come to them reach out to them speak to them somebody's into heavy rich witchcraft i'm sorry i would get that thing on readings what is this yes seven of cups in reverse but i'm getting it's not working somebody wants you to think about them Especially if they have a product or they have a business. Like somebody does witchcraft through their business. Definitely could be dealing with another shaman or a rich or a spiritualist practitioner. Yeah, hangman. Yeah, justice. Yeah. They're going to be exposed though. So I'm getting, I'm getting somebody. Thank you. My ring fell off as I was speaking about this. Somebody does voodoo witchcraft through their readings or somebody does it through their, their business. Like somebody gives people products or somebody speaks it over people's lives. Like, I don't know. I feel like somebody could work in a beauty industry. I don't know if somebody's telling you to wash your hair with something, put to put it on your face or I don't know which I do, which I do. Definitely could be somebody into the spiritual community, but this person does this through their readings or I'm sorry. I didn't mean to even say that, but I feel like they do this through their business because somebody's not getting sales or their biz their business is going out of business so somebody's doing witchcraft on the collective they're gonna get exposed though i'm getting they're dealing with mental illness so this person is like, is driving them insane, getting there, sleeping, thinking about it. And I'm getting, yeah, they could also be getting like a lot of bad feedback and yeah. They're like the product didn't work or something went wrong or you're wrong or it's not accurate or something. Somebody is getting exposed. I feel like somebody is doing sorcery to call people in to, to buy their product. And thank you, Holy Spirit. It reminds me of that, that video I was just lo looking into with the lady who 
was competing with, it was a voodoo lady who was competing with one of the other businesses and she would put dust over her door so that when her clients walk in, dust will fall on them, right? Which is a form of voodoo to get them to come back. I'm getting that. I'm getting this in this reading. I'm getting somebody does this in their business. Somebody puts witchcraft into their business so that they can call in people. I'm getting this backfire because it's giving them mental illness. And that's what happened with that lady. She came back barking like a dog. She was dealing with a bunch of stuff. And they warned her. They said, if you if you do this again, you're gonna you're gonna come back in a casket. And they and they said she came back in a casket. It's giving that energy. Giving somebody here is about to lose everything because they're not listening, they're not stopping, they still keep putting it into their business. I don't know if they're trying to do it to you. What does this have to do with Aquarius? Hopefully, this ain't true, Aquarius. What does this what does this have to do with Aquarius? Yes, the king of swords in reverse. You could be dealing with another Aquarian or it's an Aquarian reader. You are either an Aquarian. Or you're going to an Aquarian reader. They're an Aquarius. As soon as I said that, the wind is picking up. And it's crazy because the wind been talking for like two days. It literally has been talking for two days. Yeah, this is, this is another Aquarius. Yeah. Ace of Wands is in reverse. Like somebody lost their gift. What is this? Yeah. Three of Swords. That's why they hurt and they're crying because they're angry. Yeah. Somebody feels numb. They're hurt. They're crying. They're angry because their gift, they're, they lost their gift. Yeah. The hair font. Yeah. Somebody here. That judgment, y'all. That judgment. That's what somebody is facing, judgment. Yeah, two of swords in reverse, because I'm getting, they tried to like, they tried to hide or, I don't know, they tried, they thought that they weren't being seen or somebody thought that something would go unnoticed. What's the two of swords? Yeah, eight of cups. What's the two of swords? Yeah, the emperor in reverse, that somebody was abusing their power. Like, I don't know who this is, but... Somebody was abusing their power, very abusive. What were they doing? Uh, trying to attach people to them for success. Man, I cannot make these readings up. I'm also getting as well. I don't know if they were trying to do this to somebody else, trying to stop somebody else's success. They wanted to be the best, whatever. What's this? Yeah, the Knight of Coins. The King of Wands. Yeah, so... Maybe they were trying to collaborate. I'm asking as well, like favoritism is what I'm getting. I'm hearing favoritism. Like maybe somebody wanted like only a certain group of people to get an opportunity or yeah, the lovers. I'm getting many people could be involved in this. I'm getting a cult. I'm getting a cult here. Multiple people got involved and many people were like using the product and many people were doing the same voodoo and yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, they were all sharing it with each other and they knew that if they came together, the force would be more powerful. Yeah, they still, you gonna know who they are because they're dealing with, they're dealing with psychosis or something. They're dealing with something. You're going to be like, what the hell is going on? What happened? Why are they acting like this? Why are they acting weird? That's why. It's backfiring. All of them, all of them who was involved, I'm getting a cult. They all, they all got in on that shit. Ten of Cups. It's a family. The soul tribe. It's their soul tribe. Yeah, they, they built a soul tribe off that shit. Nine of Coins is here. What's this Holy Spirit? Yeah, justice. Yeah, so they see you being spiritually blessed. It's giving me back to that, what I was talking about with that hawk. That don't look, it's giving me like, 
Look up the meaning of Hulk. I wish I had my other phone right now. Look up the meaning of Hulk, because I'm about to look it up as soon as I get off of here. Because look what's also here. 11. Justice. Some Look up the number 1515 15 as well. 15, 15, or 30. Spiritual numbers. But look at that. 20. 11 and 9. Judgment. 20. Yeah, this is something serious, y'all. I'm getting... A lot of you guys with this nine and justice, you're going to be very self-sufficient. You're going to have everything that you need. Things are going to be prosperous. I feel like there are people working together to keep you business small, keep you small, keep you go, uh, keep your gifts going unnoticed. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of issues are going to subside. You're about to get a huge return. So I'm getting return to sender. So I'm getting, you're about to get a huge return, like on your money on your livelihood, on a lot of opportunities that you missed. Like a lot of shit is just going to start coming in. I'm getting a windfall. I feel like a lot of stuff is just about to start coming in. You're going to be like, what the hell is this coming from? It's because you was under, like they was trying to put some sort of something on you that cursed you for like 30 years or some of y'all, your generation been cursed for 30 years or something like that or something. I'm getting a witch put something over your family or over your gender or over you. For 30 years or something like that. Getting, they could have put this on you when you were a child. I'm getting that. I'm getting that for real. Um, this could be going on now though. Like somebody was trying to keep you under wraps, keep you in a situation where you were struggling. But I'm getting a lot of y'all when you turned the age of 20, that shit broke. Yep, Ace of Cups. Yeah, like I said, you're going to be gifted with a windfall. Now I'm getting my chills. You're about to be gifted with like a, a windfall. Like you're about to receive a lot of love, a lot of support, four of wands. You're about to receive a lot of love, for real, a lot of love. Because I'm getting, it could have felt like you were dealing with a bunch of hate. But look at that, person is still there. Queen of Cups, they're not going anywhere. Eight of Cups, yeah, this is this is behind you. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you're walking away. Chariot is in reverse. Like, these people lost. They was trying to put war on you. They was trying to make you feel like you didn't belong anywhere or you had no purpose. Yeah, but look at the lovers now. Now you're going to come into a connection with a divine counterpart. I'm getting all types of people was involved. People who did your makeup, people who did your hair. Um... Places you went to shop at. I'm getting a lot of people. I'm getting this is the system. I'm getting this is a systematic situation. I'm getting corporate businesses and all that shit. How they get people to come back and buy their product and how they sell shit. This could be the TV too, the entertainment. Getting they put in voodoo and all that. Uh, what is it called? Hypnosis. Yeah, they putting all that shit in the TVs for real. And I'm getting other people that pick this up. Like people have figured out. Because let's be real, if you want to sell something, if you are in the business of entrepreneurship, you have to learn the system. You got to crack the code. People crack the code, right? And instead of like putting people on game, people have instilled this shit in their businesses. So yeah, if somebody does sorcery, witchcraft, hypnosis, of course, you, you see about a lot of people getting into, uh, what is it called? Um, what is it called? Because I'm about to put a lot of shit in this reason. I don't give a fuck. What is it called? Um... What is it called? Look at that shit. Now it's like I'm, I can't remember. Of course it's hypnosis, but it's when you listen to them. Okay, I'm going to just describe it. Y'all going to know what I'm talking about, and I'll probably remember it. It's when you're listening to it, subliminals. There you go. Thank you. I remember now. Subliminals. Y'all get these subliminals and y'all getting them from all different type of people. And you're like, I fuck with subliminals. Subliminals is what's up. Yeah, whatever, whatever. 
But you don't know what they put in the back of those subliminals because you can't hear it. Only your, con your subconscious can. It can pick up on it because it's really quiet. Some people do subliminals where you can hear them, but a lot of the times in subliminals, you can't hear them. You can only hear the, the beat or the music on top of the subliminal. And a lot of the times, y'all don't know what's under those subliminals. And they're putting people under psychosis. They're putting people under um, hypnosis. And a lot of people have figured out how to put this into their businesses. They hypnotize you. And it calls you in. And some of y'all, you could literally just be sitting there and you're like, I think I want to eat this. Or I think I want to do this. Or I think I want to. It's like sugar. Putting sugar in our food because sugar is addictive. You get addicted to sugar. Pork. You get addicted to pork. Like, let's be real. And I feel like um, that's what this is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know why Holy Spirit wants me to expose this today, but you guys probably already know this, but this is a worldwide thing here. But I'm getting people you know, businesses. This could be, of course, like I said, people in the spiritual community with the subliminals doing this to their clientele to bring in more clients, y'all. So just be careful. That's all I got to say about this reading. Um, yeah. Ace of coins in reverse. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get, I'm getting, a system is about to crash. A system is about to crash. I'm, man, I can't make this up. Eight, uh, the uh, hangman, because they're about to be exposed. People are about to start getting exposed, y'all. It's the devil. The antichrist. All of these fraud businesses, all of these people who are so money hungry and greedy, putting putting things in their products to get people to buy the shit. So you're going to these places and they're putting stuff in their food so that you can keep buying the food. And it's giving me, oh my goodness, thank you, Spirit. I'm getting so many downloads in this reading. I'm also channeling that movie, Good Burger. Y'all ever seen Good Burger with Ken, Ken and is it Ken and Kevin or I don't know what the hell their names are. Have y'all seen Good Burger? How the other business started putting stuff in their burger to make the burger bigger so people could come because people like the fat, juicy burgers. But the, they, they ended up finding out because the burger was explosive. People was eating burgers that can explode in their stomach. You get what I'm saying? That's what this is. I hope you guys are following me. Getting people want more money. We in what they quote unquote call a recession. So people are like, we need more money. We need more clientele. Bills is high. Let's go ahead and put that in the food. We don't care if it's crack. Like I'm getting that for real. I'm picking this up in this reading. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got to watch those readers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to put it out there. Not everybody is like this. Let me just use your discernment. But I'm getting that, like, people can be putting them in their subliminals, y'all. They're chanting. They're chanting stuff over y'all. So just be careful. They want you to come back and keep watching and keep watching and keep watching and keep watching and keep watching. Y'all don't know y'all under fucking hypnosis. For real. And you're like, I don't even like this person. Why do I keep watching them? Yeah, because three of swords. They're lying. They're a liar. Yeah, two of wands. I feel like a lot of you guys, you are on a you are on a path here. You are on a path. And I feel like you're like the only one doing the right thing. But you'll be amazed because it's like I'm getting like this hidden energy where it's like you could be walking along with somebody. Because it's how deep this shit is. You could be walking along somebody. And y'all could be the best of buds. Like I said, with this this knight of cups, this could be a friend, a colleague. You're like, yeah, we, me and you, you know, I've been around this person all this time. They would never do nothing like this. But if they knew, if somebody came to them and told them, sell me a soul and I'll give you um a, a $6 billion. And, you know, all you have to do is, um, hypnotize, hypnotize billions of people and, and millions of people and, and, and we'll give you a billion dollars. And they're like, all I got to do is sell out all these people and I'll get a billion dollars. They're like, yeah, just sell out all these people and you'll be amazed. Somebody will be putting shit in your food. Somebody will be trying to play subliminals while you're around them, put music around you or 
somebody's trying to hypnotize you, hypnotize your children. Of course, they're putting it into the media. They're even putting it to the media with children. They're, they're doing the most because they're like, we just want the riches. And you'll be amazed. You'll be walking beside somebody who's trying to sell you out because they want to be rich. They want to be famous. They want to be successful. They want to make it in life. So because of that, they're like, you got people in fear because they're in fear of being exposed with the rest of these motherfuckers because they will. A day will come. You will be judged. Yeah, I can't fucking make these readings up and I just got chills. Tower. A day will come and you will be judged. Yeah, so have faith. I know a lot of y'all, you're like, well, damn. I mean, yeah, you got to watch your back. You do have to watch your back because... People will sell you out for fame, for riches, for money, y'all. You got to watch. You got to see how people operate, how they talk, because a snake will always expose itself. It will always expose itself. Use your discernment. Use your discernment, y'all. People are tripping, like, all because they want money, all because they want fame. Look at that, faking their lifestyles. I can't make these readings up. Y'all got people pretending like they walk in the same path as you, but they really into that shit. They really doing all that. They really into all of that demonic shit because they want riches. They want fame. So, yeah, like I was getting, I'm getting that. I'm getting somebody thought you were easy to tame or easy to uh, change. Yeah, somebody was targeting you because they thought you were like everybody else. And I'm getting, they keep finding out that you're not. They keep finding out you're not with that shit. They keep finding out you're not going to sell your soul. They keep finding that shit out. What was after the devil? What was the next cup? What was the next uh Queen of Coins? You're loyal to your family, you're loyal to your children, you're loyal to the divine. Yeah, so the devil keeps trying to tempt you to see if you're gonna switch spats or change. Cause I'm getting there seeing miracles happen in your life, but they're like, I can give you more miracles, I can make your life richer, better. Yeah, yeah, because you may feel like a lot of y'all, you may feel like God is like. Doing things in your life, but it's not like what the devil can do. I always tell people that. It's like the Antichrist could be like, oh, I'm going to give you everything that you ever desired. And you're looking into readings and all types of stuff. And they're telling you this. And they're like, yeah, you're going to have all of these things. And I've probably done said some stuff like that where it's like, you're going to have all of these things. And you're going to do all of these things, right? And you're like, okay, I did it. And it's beautiful. I love where I'm at. I I'm appreciative, but it's not what I thought. It's not what you thought because you're not doing anything wrong to get it. You're not conning. You're not scheming. You're not plotting. You're not doing voodoo, witchcraft, none of that. But you're healthy. You're sane. You're loved. What else do you really need? These people are faking their lifestyle. They're miserable. They're in pain. They're numb. They waking up every day and they're at the machinery. Like, that's fucking terrifying. To get up, roll out of bed, and you're like, brush your teeth. Get your shoes on. Go to work, sit there. Hi, how are you today? Hi, how are you today? Hi, how are you today? Like, can you imagine? They're faking their lifestyle. They're trying to tell you, this is the life. Come on this side. Then you get over there and you're like, is this what I signed up for? Yeah, you signed your life over to be a slave for the rest of your life. Yeah, people look up to you, Levi's that, but that's what I'm getting. People are looking around and they're realizing, that's why I say, I feel like that. I feel like somebody's on the side of you and they're shaking because they don't want you to know they sold they sold. They don't know, they don't want you to know what they did to get money, to get riches. I'm getting, I'm getting the Judas thing now. Like somebody could have tried to sell you out for money or something like that. Somebody was the one telling people where you are. Or somebody was trying to place you in the hands of your enemy. But people look up to you. Lead by example. I'm getting 
You are, I'm some of y'all feel like you have no examples. You are the example. Yeah, you are sun child, powerful manifester, positive energy, bold personality. I'm getting, you manifest from source. You don't need witchcraft. Man, that's why they mad. Revenge. Yeah, so they were plotting on you and they wanted revenge on you. And they're like, we got to stop this person. We're mad because they're the only one who didn't sell their soul. Yeah, I'm getting people are mad they did it. They feel like they can't turn back. Yeah, you're going to face that tower, baby. I'm just going to let you know right now. You're going to face a tower. Um, It's going to call. Come coming down. Um, the whole system, the whole thing, the whole thing. Everybody's going to deal down. If you subscribe to the Antichrist, you're going with them. I'm just being fucking for real. Yeah, family betrayal. Yes, yeah, so these family members who all was in on it. That's why I'm getting. I'm getting. Like I said, I feel like somebody was on the side of you, your mama, your cousin, your grandma, your uncle, and they're like shaking in their boots because they're being exposed. They all was trying to get in and 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 sell you out. I'm also getting something about the dark web. Yeah, somebody was trying to uh, human traffic you or some shit. Your ex could have been trying to do the shit too. Sorry, this is going to be a long reading. They were trying to like get rid of you or or sell you out, or they were they were gonna be a Judas in your life. They were gonna sacrifice you. To get rich. For real. Yeah, your child needs you. What's this? Yeah, purpose. Excuse me. Your child needs you. Purpose. Your children need you. It goes back to my, you are raising up a nation. Yeah, so it was, it's a reading way, way back. You are raising up a nation. Yeah, you are raising up a nation, y'all. This is war. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm getting you are raising up a nation. These Your children need you. The next generation needs you. They need you to lead by example. Because... A system is about to fall. Whatever this is right here, it's about to fall. And because of that, you're going to have to raise up the generation to rebuild. So I feel like that. I feel like something is about to be rebuilt because it has to come crumbling down. So everybody's going to come crumbling down with that fire. You see it. It's giving me Noah, the flood. Um, It's going to come crumbling down. It's going to be flushed away, washed away, and then you're going to raise up a nation. So teach your children well, treat your children well, and, and show them the way. You're going to deal with rebellion and all of that stuff, but show them the way. Because I'm getting so y'all with the family betrayal, you don't have an example. You're leading, you're walking on faith. <sighs> younger man, younger woman gaining fortune. What is this? STD, business partner, red flags. I'm also getting as well. Somebody is into the uh, business of spreading disease. Um, yep, like I said, I'm not about to hold shit back in this reading. Somebody could be a younger man or a younger woman. They are into the business of spreading disease. Okay, somebody here was given STD. Rather, they caught this period like that was a part of the cult. They caught an STD. They were engaging in all types of shit or they were literally injected with an STD. They were given an STD or they have an STD. I know this may be taboo and maybe out of the ordinary for you guys, but I'm just tired of holding back shit that I know. I feel like this is clear as day in these readings. Somebody is into the business of spreading STDs. They're spreading STDs, of course, because they're going to come out here and tell everybody there's no cure for STDs. So they're into the business of spreading STDs to gain fortune. So somebody's like, I don't care if I'm if they're dying slowly. They're dying slowly, but they don't care. They're like, I'm getting money. I'm getting rich. So I don't care. Yeah. So your guys want you to warn you. Yeah, this person does black magic. So I'm asking as well. They're putting that shit in people's food. Yeah. They're putting that shit in people's. Somebody's putting their DNA or their infected DNA into people's stuff. And, you know. So somebody here could easily be like used like they're they they could bite into stuff. Of course, their gums could be bleeding or some shit. Somebody's putting their DNA, their blood into stuff. 
because they have an STD. And we all know that that shit spreads through DNA. So I feel like somebody here is um, spreading a disease. That's, that's their form of black magic. Their form of black magic is spreading a disease. They're a part of the cult. And y'all know famine, disease, all of that is a part of the dead day antichrist. Yeah, but you are pretending I can't make these readings up. You are protected. Bad reputation. Yeah. You are protected from this situation. Somebody here, they're going to get exposed. You are protected. They're going to try to say like, you know, I don't know if you was with this person. I'm, when I tell y'all, you have the armor of God, y'all. I'm for real. Like, God has blessed you with protection over your life. I'm getting you could have been with somebody who was trying to give you an STD. Um, and they could have even been telling people you have this STD. But I'm getting you went unscathed. You went untouched because you do not resonate with the Antichrist. I'm telling y'all. And it's crazy because I, I said I'm done. I'm done holding back. There is a cure. There is a cure. Do you believe you have this disease? And it's crazy because I feel like with this STD, the disease, yeah, it could be real, but you can be healed of it. It's real. The disease is real. It kills people for real. But you can be cured of it. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you were protected from it. You could have slept with somebody who had a disease, but God didn't give you that because that's not your fate. That was not for you or you are not in alignment with the Antichrist. You didn't sell your soul. So, yeah, somebody else sold their soul. So they have an STD. That's a part of the, that's a part of the, the thing. That's a part of it. Yeah, independent. I'm getting you're like the only one. I'm getting you're the only one who got away. We got the setup. I'm getting this person has been sleeping with home records, all types of shit. Your home records got it. You don't. Like when 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 you gotta think about something, thank you, Holy Spirit, because I was reading the Bible the other day, and I really usually don't read the Bible, but something has called me lately to just get into it. And I was and I was reading stuff, and it's crazy because I had asked Spirit, I said, What do you need me to see? And I opened up the book and it, it took me to Daniel. And I don't know if you guys know about the book of Daniel. Was it Daniel or was it David? I think it was David, excuse me. It took me to David. And it's crazy my baby is waking up as I'm about to say this. But it took me to David. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I had to go get my baby. But this is probably rare that I would ever do this. But I really feel called to tell y'all this. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not like a, a Bible junkie. I'm not going to lie. I just... It's just crazy. I felt called. And the fact that all this is happening in this reading, I really want y'all to get this message because when I see that you are protected from famine, illnesses, sicknesses, disease, people try to plot on your life and try to get you um, murdered. I want you to see this. And the reason why I'm saying this is because out of nowhere, I got called to read the Bible. And I was like, I don't read, you know, I don't really do this. I used to be Christian in the past, but I just walk on faith at this point. I just believe in God. And but when I when I felt called and I asked Spirit, I said, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to know? And I I um I'm a, I'm gonna I'm show y'all this because I want y'all to know what what you're what what is about to happen here. And where is it at? Okay, first thing was about the incense. That's between me and Holy Spirit. I'm gonna leave that as it is wanted me to create the incense to cleanse with, okay? That was the first sign. The second sign, where is it at? Because I'm going to find it because I want you guys to hear. And this is not me telling you what to do with your life. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you what this is literally coming out in this reading. Where is it at? Because all of a sudden my bookmark fell out. We're going to find it. Let me pause and I'm going to come back. All right. Now, like I told y'all, I have to give this message just because I feel called to. Um, just because it's reading. And I found it after many, many minutes of looking for it. Okay. So I'm just going to read it to you really quick just because I want you guys to get an understanding because I feel like it explained it so much. It's coming out in this reading. Um, of the promises over your life that you're going to be blessed with just because of your faithfulness and staying true to for one who you are and staying true to your faith and not turning over just because somebody wanted to you know add a dollar or a comma 
stay true to God, y'all. Um, and staying true to this higher source, the higher power, because I feel like a lot of people have turned very, very wicked, y'all. In these days, y'all, they have turned very wicked. And it's crazy because I feel like I, I got called to this page. And it's crazy because I just literally opened up the book and Spirit gave me this book about David. And it is definitely, and if you guys want to know, it is in the first Kirchi Chronicles. First Chronicles. Y'all know, I, like I said, I don't read the Bible, so I might have said that wrong. Um, 1632. And it's crazy because it says God's promises to David. And just follow me and we're going to end this reading. After David was settled in his place, he said to Nathan, the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar. Hold on, you guys. My apologies. I'm here to get this done. I am living. This is David talking to Nathan, the prophet. I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of the covenant of the Lord is under a tent. Nathan replied to David, whatever you have in mind to do, do it for God is with you. But that night, the, the word of the, the word of God came to Nathan saying, go and tell my serpent, David. This is what the Lord says. You are not to build me a house to dwell in. I have not dwelt in a house from the day I brought up Israel up out of Egypt to this day. I have moved from one tent site to another, from one dwelling place to another. Wherever I have moved with all the Israelites, did I ever say to any of their leaders whom I commended to shepherd my people, why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now, off of that right by itself, you guys, he was basically saying that he felt bad about living in a house and basically he had a whole table set for the Lord under a tent and he felt like it needed to be made out of gold and rhinestones and it needed to be, you know, pimped out. You know what I'm saying? Like it needed to be, you know, high maintenance just because, you know, we're talking about God here and he felt bad. He felt like he was, you know, giving God the shorthand of the stick. And God was like, I've been cool all this time. I ain't never told nobody to build me a house. You don't got to start building me a house today. So I feel like that's just for those of you who were confused on that part. Now, after that, he said, now then, tell my serpent, David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you from the pasture, from tending to the flock and appointed you ruler of or over my people, Israel. I have been with you. Wherever you have gone, I have cut off all of your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name like the names of the greatest men of, on earth. And I will provide a place for my people in my people, Israel, and will plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did not at the beginning and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people, Israel. I will also subdue all your enemies. I declare to you that the Lord will build a house for you. When your days are over, you go to your ancestors. I will raise your offspring to succeed you. Do y'all hear what I'm saying in this reading? I'm going to say that again. I declare to you. I'm going to say this again, y'all, because it's reading, y'all. Watch it two times if you need to. I'm going to say this again. Say it. Where is it at? Okay, hold on. Okay. I declare to you that the Lord will build a house for you. When your days are over and you go to your ancestors, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, one of your own sons, and I will establish his kingdom. Did I not just tell y'all? You're going to raise up a nation. It says, where is that? I will be his father and he will be my son. I will never take my love away from him as I took it away from your 
Prodessers, I don't know how to say that. I will set him over my house and my kingdom forever. His throne will be established forever. And this is what Nathan needed to report to David. So God was already using David. He told him, when you pass, your children are going to be something. And I was just saying this in this reading, y'all. People look up to you, lead by example. Your child needs you. I'm getting chills. The next generation needs you. They need you to lead by example. I'm going to repeat this other part. Now then, tell my serpent, David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you from the pasture, from tending the flock, and appointed you ruler over the people of Israel. He was working in the flock, taking care of animals. He had a job. He took him from his job to tend to his people. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I was saying in this reading earlier where I was talking about how people are getting up every day and they're putting their hats on, brushing their teeth, but it's like robotic. You know, they feel lost. They feel numb to their environment. They feel stuck. God took you out of that. Taking you out of that. If you're still in it, took you out of there. Let me finish this because I got to finish this reading because my baby like, okay. It says, I have been with you wherever you have gone and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name like the names of the greatest men on earth and I will provide a place for my people, Israel, and will plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. What are we today? We are disturbed. Why? Because we have no peace. It's chaos because they're raising all the prices. They're doing the most. They're, they're, they're causing all types of mental disturbance. You can't think straight because you're worried about bills, responsibilities, this, that, that, everything going on. You have no peace. How can you really have time to connect with spirit when you are so on the go 24-7 and you're never in oneness, you're never in peace? You're worried about all of these things going on. So spirit is taking people out of that and making them a home, away from this. And a lot of people, they can't see it, they can't vision it because they don't know. People are afraid of the unknown, y'all. People are afraid of the unknown. It says, wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did at the beginning and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. Meaning, Spirit is saying right here where it's like, they was doing this from the moment that God had already called leaders over his people. That's when they rose up this nation, this demonic situation here, this wickedness. They rose it up to go against the chosen people. And it's why? Because the chosen people are connected to source. And the only way to keep you deprived of your gifts, of your abilities, of your connection to the divine is to keep you enslaved, y'all. But y'all are no longer slaves. Y'all not slaves. You were enslaved for many years to this because, of course, we forgot who we were. But God woke you up. You will come into remembrance. And let me go. My baby is like, I'm not about to say here no more. We're going to have to do a part two of this reading. But justice. Justice. Sorry, this was a rare situation, but spirit literally pulled me to this. Justice. So the tower is here. The, hang, the hangman is here. War. It's, it's all going to come permanent down. Hopefully y'all heard me because my mic was off. I just realized that. But like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you fuck about it. Subscribe. Peace.